Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Kayada Basun Taliana Mashai. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Adonai. Thank you, Yahweh. So we leave you high, Yahweh, Yahweh. So I leave you high, Yahweh. We bless you now, Shaddai. We give you all the praise, El Gibel Gibor. We exalt your name, mighty God. We exalt your name, mighty God. We exalt your name, mighty God. There is none like you, Yahweh. There is none like you, Abba Father. There is none like you, the mighty man in battle. There is none like you, Jehovah. The one who sits in heaven and makes the earth his footstool. You alone are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, oh God. We we lift up our hands in worship. We lift up our adoration. We say, Reign, Lord, reign, Lord, in all the earth. You reign, Lord, you reign over principalities and powers. You reign over every ruler of darkness of this age. You reign, you reign in all the earth. There is none like you, Abba Father. There is none that can be compared to you. Ayana Masiada Bahaya. You are the Lord and you change it not. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. You are the Lord and you change at night. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Be thou exalted, O God. Be thou exalted, O God. Be thou exalted. Makela da Vasuntaliana Mashaya. Reketelosiana we bless your name jesus only you are worthy only you deserve my praise only you deserve my adoration oh jesus you are the king of glory, Judas Lion, reign, Jesus reign. You are the king of Zion, Judas Lion, reign. Jesus reign. Mm. We worship you, King of kings and the Lord of lords. We worship you, Abba Father. 
There is none that can be compared to you. No other person, no other God deserves our worship. No other God deserves our praise. You deserve it. You are worthy of it all. You are worthy of our adoration. You deserve the lifting up of our hands. You are worthy, Jesus. You are worthy of it all. You are worthy. You are worthy of it all. You are worthy of it all. Kalana masuta labrahande kusiyadash. For from you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory. The songwriter says, All their saints and angels bow before your throne. All the elders cast their crowns before the Lamb of God and sing you are worthy of it all the Bible says enter his gates with thanksgiving and enter his courts with praise you are worthy of it all for from you are all things and to you are all things you deserve the glory. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, our King. Thank you, Lord. We commit this life session into your hands and we pray that you shall take over this life session. I pray for everyone that is connected right now and that will be connected in the subsequent minutes. I pray, oh God, that you will touch them at their point of need as they listen to your voice, as they listen to your word. I pray, oh God, let it quicken their hearts to know you more. Let it quicken them to trust you. I pray that as they make an encounter with your presence, let their lives begin to take another turn in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for everyone that is connected, that they will not go back the same. I pray that they shall receive a special touch from you in the mighty name of Jesus, that you shall touch them at their point of need in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Abba Father. We give you permission to take over this live session. We give you permission to have your way in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Good morning, family. Good afternoon. Good evening to everyone. Depending on where you are joining us from, you are all welcome to this live session. I am excited to have each and every one of you. Please, as you come in, touch the like button, share the live broadcast, invite someone to these powerful prayers we are about to have. Do not... um. Do not be selfish. Just let someone come and join us as we are about to pray. God says it's about to give us divine elevation. God says it's a season for divine elevation. It's a season in the life of someone for divine elevation. It's a season in the life of someone you are about to receive divine elevation. And I pray that as you connect yourself to this prayer, you are going to make encounter, you are going to encounter counter the grace for divine elevation in the mighty name of Jesus. Maybe you're believing divine elevation in your spiritual work with God or you're believing God for divine elevation in your career, in your work, in your family life. You are believing God for divine elevation. I pray that you are going to make encounter as we pray. You are going to make encounter with the power of God that will take you from where you are to where you are supposed to be in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Uh, the Bible says in the book of Psalms, chapter 95, it says that promotion does not come from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south, but promotion comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He is the one that is able to, 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 to sit someone and is able to unseat another. That is the God we are serving. He can take you from one level to another. That is the God. He rules over everything. He rules over all the earth. He has everything on under his control. My prayer for you is that as we begin to pray, as you connect yourself, you are going to make encounter, you are going to make contact with the power of God that is going to take you from one level to another. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. When, uh, when Hannah was giving her, her prayer of thanksgiving to the Lord in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 2, uh, Hannah said, the Lord make it poor and make it rich. The Lord bring it low and lift it up. The Lord make it poor and make it rich. He lifts up and he brings low. God makes poor and makes rich. It means that today you might be poor, but God has the ability to make you rich. And today you might be rich. God can still bring you to a level. The other day I was talking about Nebuchadnezzar. He was highly lifted on his throne. He was highly exalted. But just by God deciding to humble him, he became down low and he was eating of the dust of the earth. God has the ability to raise one and bring down another. We see how God took a servant girl. God took a girl that was an orphan and made her a queen. That is the power of God. God has the ability to elevate you and he has the ability to bring down. But for you, I pray that God will elevate you in this season in the mighty name of Jesus. That God will lift you up and take you to a next level in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, maybe you've been thinking in your place of work, you think you need special relations with the manager to be able to get a promotion. You think you need nepotism or you need some kind of um, special um, favor. You need some kind of relationship with your bosses to be able to access your next level, to be able to get elevation or promotion. Whatever the case may be, I am here to tell you that the Bible says the hands of the king is in the hands of our God. The heart of the king is in the hands of the Lord and he turns it however he chooses. God can decide to turn their heart. If God says it's your season for divine elevation, it doesn't matter what your managers think or what they say. God has the their hand, their heart in his hands, and he can turn it however he chooses to give you that promotion you deserve, to give you that elevation you so desire. I pray for you in the name of Jesus that you will make contact with the grace of God for divine elevation. You will make contact with the grace of God for divine promotion in the mighty name of Jesus. Maybe you have been in a situation like Hannah and you have been mocked and you have been laughed at. People are saying you cannot do this or you cannot do that. You are not deserving of this and you are not deserving of that. And you have cried and you have prayed. I pray for you. The same way God remembered Hannah and visited her, I pray that God will remember you and visit you with divine lifting in the name of Jesus. God will remember you and visit you with divine elevation in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 13, it says that, and the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. I pray for you that God will make you the head and not the tail, that you will constantly be above and not under in the mighty name of Jesus. God will make you the head and not the tail, and that you will constantly be above in the mighty name of Jesus. You will constantly be above in the mighty name of Jesus. You will constantly be above. I come against that spirit that makes you experience roller, a, a roller coaster. Your life is like a roller coaster. One moment you are ahead and another moment you are backward. One moment you are on top and another moment you are under. I come against that spirit of roller coaster in the name of Jesus. God will make you the head and you will forever remain the head in the the mighty name of Jesus. God will place you above and you forever remain on top in the mighty name of Jesus. God will place you above and you forever remain on top in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Psalms chapter 27 and verse 6, it says, it says, and now my head will be lifted up above my enemies around me. In his tent, I will offer sacrifices with shouts of joy. I will sing, I will sing praise to the Lord. The first, the first line says that, and now my head will be lifted 
lifted up above my enemies around me. My head will be lifted up above my enemies around me. God will not let you bow your head in shame. God will not let you fall to the defeat. God will not let you be defeated in the midst of your enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, God will raise up your head like the head of a unicorn. In the mighty name of Jesus, God will not let you bow your head in shame. God will not let you bow your head to defeat in the mighty name of Jesus. God is going to lift up your head like that of a unicorn. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for everyone that is connected. I reject every spirit of backwardness. I reject every spirit of backwardness. While others are going ahead, you will not be going behind. While others are progressing, you will not be regressing. Please pray with me. Say, I reject every spirit of backwardness. Make that prayer. Make that prayer. Say, I reject every spirit of backwardness. In the mighty name of Jesus, I reject every spirit of backwardness. I reject every spirit of backwardness. Go ahead and make that a prayer. Say in the name of Jesus, I reject every spirit of backwardness. I reject every spirit of backwardness. Yes, yes, make that, make that prayer. Say, I reject every spirit of backwardness. Every spirit of backwardness. I reject it in the name of Jesus. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. I reject every spirit of backwardness. I connect my faith with yours and I come against every spirit of backwardness. I begin to prophesy upon your life. Forward ever and backward never. You will only progress. You will only go forward. You will only progress you only go forward in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Maleko Siana Mashaya. You will only go forward in the mighty name of Jesus. Marekataya. I pray for you. Every agent of shame that is working against your life. Let that agent of shame be paralyzed in the mighty name of Jesus. I render their activities in potent. Every agent of shame. There are some agents that have just been assigned to your life to make you no shame. There are some agents that have just been assigned to your life to make you experience disgrace and shame. But I pray for you. Allah, like I paralyze the activities of those agents of shame. I paralyze their activities in the mighty name of Jesus. However they want you you to be embarrassed, however they want you to be disgraced, however they want you to experience shame, I come against it in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, na masutaya baba. The Bible says they overcame by the blood of the Lamb. I pray for you in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus. I paralyze every activity of the agent of shame over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will not know shame. You will not know disgrace. You will not be embarrassed. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Maleka Talaba Suliana Masaya, Reka Baba Babo Siana Masai, Lakatana Kosiana Mamasaya, Leka Talabra Hande Kosutaya. You will not know shame or disgrace, you will not be embarrassed in the mighty name of Jesus, Makeda Basuniana Masaya, Reka Talaba Sunta Lebrehendos, Ika Talako. In the mighty name of Jesus, God is talking to me concerning someone. He is he says he is giving you maximum power to excel. I don't know who that person is, but God says he is giving you maximum power power to excel. He is giving you maximum power to excel. He is giving you maximum power. You will be able to achieve that thing. He is giving you maximum power. 
Zikata. He says he's giving, ah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy, he says, remember the Lord your God, for it is him that give, give that you power to make wealth. I don't know, but somebody in this live session, as you are connected, God says he's giving you maximum power to excel. That power might come in you making wealth. That power might come in you having wisdom to say the right thing that needs to be said for you to act a particular level. I don't know what that is, but God says a power is coming upon you, an anointing is coming upon you right now, and it will make you to excel in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive that anointing to excel. Receive that anointing to excel. God is telling someone you are going to achieve in that place. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you are doubting. You are asking yourself, is this the right step I have taken? Is this the right step? God is telling me to tell you that you are going to excel in it. You will excel. Maybe you just changed your career. Maybe it's like you just took a step and you are, you are doubting it. You are asking yourself, is this the right thing to do? Did I just take the right step? God says you are going to excel in it. Receive the anointing to excel in that place in the name of Jesus. Receive the anointing to excel in that place in the name of Jesus. Receive the alama shataya baba basuntaya. Receive the anointing to excel in that place in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Another person I hear God say that you are about to have an effortless success. Effortless, 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 effortless result, effortless result, effortless. You know, there are times when you have to do so much for you to get results, but there is a time when the grace of God is backing you up. I am a shataya. You remember the story of the four lepers, the story of the four lepers. They were leprous and it meant they were were disabled. They could not really do much. But as they advanced into the camp of the Assyrians, God amplified their footstep so that it became like the, 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 the footstep of a mighty army of chariots, a mighty chariot coming, a mighty army coming. And the Assyrians got scared and they left. That is what God means when he says you're about to have effortless result. You will just do something and God will amplify that thing. You will just make a step and God is going to amplify it. You will just start doing something and God will take over. I pray for you. If you like it, you can connect to it and receive. I pray the grace for effortless success, effortless result. It is coming upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. The grace for effortless result is coming upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. The grace for effortless result is coming upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. I was talking with someone yesterday and they were sharing with me their testimony and they told me they had been in one relationship for seven years, believing God for marriage and yet nothing happened. They invested seven years of their life in that relationship and the relationship ended up not working out and they left the relationship heartbroken. They were so heartbroken and disappointed and the next relationship they got into, it has just been three months and they have been engaged, they are getting married this month they just three months of a relationship sometimes it's not it's not too much effort when god takes over your effort god you you, you just do something little and, and and that person is like you are the one for me but for seven years you're in a relationship with one person and you showed them your best you gave them everything you know you knew you could give and the person still did not think you were good enough they still did not think you were good enough and the least opportunity they had they dumped you but in the next relationship you did she said woman of god i don't know what i did i don't know what i did but this person just they, they, they can't wait to marry me and i'm asking myself is this this same me the other person was complaining about is this the, the same me the other person felt like i was not good enough that is what when god i am a shatter, effortless resort you do little or nothing and god just designed to crown your effort with success i pray for you that is listening to me right now that you will make contact with the grace of god for effortless results in the mighty name of jesus if i pray for you you will experience effortless resort as you make an effort god is going to in intervene and give you maximum success in the mighty name of Jesus. Maximum success in the mighty name of Jesus. 
I pray against every unfruitful activity you are in right now. Every spirit of unfruitfulness, whatsoever you are doing that is not giving you result, I come against it in the name of Jesus. I come against it in the name of Jesus. I break every curse of unproductivity over your life. I break every curse of unfruitfulness in the mighty name of Jesus. I break every curse of unfruitfulness in the mighty name of Jesus. Sometimes it's not because you are not that hard working. When people share, you, share with you their testimonies, you ask yourself, what am I doing that is different? I am even doing better than this person, but how come they are able to have better results than me? I come against every curse of unfruitfulness in the mighty name of Jesus. I come against every curse of unfruitfulness over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, every curse of unfruitfulness, whatsoever is making you to walk like an elephant and eat like an ant, I come against it in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatsoever is causing you to put in so much effort and yet reap just a little, I come against it in the mighty name of Jesus. I come against it in the mighty name of Jesus. I come against it in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not walk like an elephant and eat like an ant. You will not work so hard and another person takes credit for your hard work. In the mighty name of Jesus. I heard of a story one time. I heard of a story somebody was sharing. They said there was this guy, he was in a church. No, nobody was in the church. But since you know, every church has a musical set of pianos, drums, and all of those. So this guy just came to church one day and he was just he was just let to play the keyboard. And he was playing and playing and playing and playing so well. And somebody was in a hotel nearby and was so moved. He said, who is playing this keyboard? It was in an African country, in Nigeria to be precise. The man, the, the person in that hotel was like, who is playing this keyboard? This guy is so good. He deserves to travel around brought he did this gift he has needs to be exported this gift of his needs to be exported and just when that person was about to come you know check out to see who is playing the keyboard that guy um someone else came into the room and said please can i play he was like okay i, was, I had even round up for my for the day i am going home and the guy just sat there the new guy that just came just sat on the keyboard and started playing the guy who had been playing for over an hour just left and this person got into the into the church and met this guy who has just been playing for like three minutes and said oh my god you play so well you play so well i think i am interested in you i want to take you abroad i want to export this your gift so that many people can be able to benefit from it this guy just came less than five minutes somebody else worked so hard and he just came less than five minutes and he was iron amasha when i heard when i listened to that story it it hurt it broke my heart how can someone work so hard and when it's time for them to rip off their labors they are moved out of that place that will not be your testimony that is the spirit of unfruitfulness working in the life of someone that is the spirit of unfruitfulness you are not able to reap the fruit of your labor that will not be your case somebody else will not take glory for the work you have done in the mighty name of Jesus someone else will not take glory for the work you have done in the mighty name of Jesus it happens even in your, in your offices, in your place of work. You might work so hard for something and somebody just comes to do the finishing touches and the manager meets him when he's doing the finishing touches and he gets the credit for your work and gets a promotion. But you invested hours upon hours. Your work is not even recognized. Koya Bashata, you don't know what it means. The spirit of unfruitfulness. I break that curse upon your life in the name of Jesus. Every curse of unfruitfulness that is working against your life, I break it. I break it. I break it in the name of Jesus. You will not work so hard and someone else reaps from it. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not invest time 
times and hard work, you not invest labor and someone else reaps from it. In the mighty name of Jesus, I come against that curse of unproductivity over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you. The grace of divine elevation is coming upon you. The grace for divine elevation is coming upon you. The grace for divine elevation is coming upon you. The grace for divine elevation is coming upon you. The grace for divine elevation is coming upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for everyone that is believing God for a, a next level. You are believing God for a next level. You say you have been you have been on the same space for so long. You say you have been in the same environment, the same circumstance. Nothing is changing. I I pray for you. Begin to break camp and advance in the mighty name of Jesus. Break camp and advance in the mighty name of Jesus. Break camp and advance in the mighty name of Jesus. I come against every circle of limitation. I come against every circle of limitation. I come against every circle of limitation. In the mighty name of Jesus, I come against every circle of limitation. Break camp and advance in the name of Jesus. Repeat after me. Say, I break camp and I advance. Say, I break camp and I advance. I break camp and I advance in the name of Jesus. I break camp. I break camp. Somebody, God is giving you divine direction. God is giving you divine direction that is going to help, is going to lead you to an advancement. I don't know what that is, but as we are praying, God is giving you, he's telling you exactly what you have to do to access your next level. As we are praying, God is telling you exactly what you need to do to access that next level. I open your eyes to hear. I open your eyes to hear. I sharpen your spirit. You'll be able to hear that instruction for your next level in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whenever, my father always says, whenever you pray for a next level, God gives you an instruction. Whenever you're praying to God for a next level, God will give you an instruction. And somebody here, God says, is about to give you divine direction. What exactly you have to do to access your next level. God is giving you divine direction. I pray that you will be sensitive to hear it in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Another person, God is giving you the spirit of excellence. The spirit of excellence. It is going to make you stand out in your place of work. God is giving you a spirit of excellence. It will make you stand out in your place of work. Your work will be recognized. It will be distinguished. Receive it in the name of Jesus. God is giving you the spirit of excellence so that your work will stand out. You will not just, the, you know, the grace of, it will not just carry you and put you at the top for nothing, but everybody will be able to see that your works were distinguished. Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the grace for excellence. The Bible says in Daniel was found an excellent spirit. It was the excellent spirit of Daniel that made him to be able to, he worked with four kings in his reign. When every king came, they made him a, 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 a ruler, they made him a leader at every reign. Why? Because he had the spirit of excellence. I pray for you. Receive the spirit of excellence that will make you distinguished in your place of work. That will make you distinguished even in your business. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive the spirit of excellence that will make you distinguished even as a wife, even as a husband. In the mighty name of Jesus, God is making you the head and not the tail. God is making you the head and not the tail. God is making you the head and not the tail. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. God is making you the head and not the tail. God is placing you above and you are never coming down again. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ela mashataya brahandeya. Lekonono mosutaya. 
Zuna mashata la brahandia. Oh, rakata la bashaya. You will testify like Hannah. You will testify like Hannah. Hannah said, the Lord make it poor and make it rich. He bring it low and lift it up. You will testify of your lifting just as God did for Hannah. So will God do for you in the name of Jesus. You will testify of the hand of God. When they ask you, how is it that you were able to ascend so fast? You will say, the Lord lifts and he bring it up. You will say, this is the hand of the Lord. When they ask, how were you able to access this next level? How, how was it possible? You will say, it is the hand of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody you are making encounter with the grace of God for relifting. You are making encounter with the grace of God for an elevation. You are making contact with the power of God that will propel you to your next level. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are making contact with the power of God that will propel you to your next level. You are making contact with the power of God that will propel you to your next level. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for everyone that desires a next level, but you have been standing in the same position for so long. By the grace of God, by the force of grace, I push you to your next level in the name of Jesus. By the force of grace, I push you out of that circle of limitation in the name of Jesus. By the force of grace, I push you out of that circle of limitation in the name of Jesus. By the force of grace, I push you out of that circle of limitation in the mighty name of Jesus. Lay that by shida bahandosa. Come on, somebody. Go ahead and begin to thank the Lord for elevation. Thank the Lord for your next level. Thank him. Thank him for that divine instruction that will put, take you to the top. Thank the Lord, somebody. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. For this is the confidence we have that whenever we pray, he hears and he answers us. Thank the Lord that the limitation has been broken. Thank the Lord for divine elevation. Thank God because he is giving you access into your next level in the mighty name of Jesus come on do not be ungrateful do not be ungrateful every powerful prayer always ends with a note of thanksgiving you are thanking God because you believe he has answered you you are thanking God because you believe he has heard you and help is coming thank the Lord somebody thank you Lord thank you Lord for divine elevation Elevation. Thank you, Lord, for lifting up someone and placing at the top. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for divine direction that is going to propel someone for their next level. Thank you, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, Abba Father. We thank you, mighty God. We thank you, mighty King. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Did you receive this word with gladness? Were you blessed by the prayers today? Were you blessed? As our custom is after every live session, I always give an opportunity to people who are led in their spirit. If you are led, you want to give an offering, you want to um, plant a connection seed, connecting to the prayers we have made, connecting to the prophetic words that have been released. I always give an opportunity for people to do that. If you want to use PayPal, Cash App, Mobile Money, the information is pinned on your screen. And if you want to use the live stream, that is Super Chat, Super Sticker, you can go ahead. Whatever means you want to use, God bless you. And I want to use this opportunity to welcome all our first timers. If this is the first time you're joining our live session, a special welcome to you. I see you all. I see you all. And I recognize you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you. Please check to see if you already subscribed to this channel. If not, kindly go ahead and touch the subscribe button. And do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever we are live, you are going to receive a notification. If you are here, you have not made Jesus the Lord of your life. Or maybe you, you, you had accepted Jesus into your heart, but something happened and you strayed away from his presence and it is difficult for you to go back to the Lord. Please repeat this prayer after me. 
Say, Lord Jesus, I come before you today acknowledging that I am a sinner. Lord, I know I have sinned and I have come short of your glory. Have mercy on me. Forgive me my sin. Come into my heart. Become my personal Lord and Savior. Erase my name from the book of dead. Write my name in the book of life. In the mighty name of Jesus. If you make that prayer right now, I am praying for you. Father, I thank you for your son and your daughter that has decided to come back home. Lord, I pray that you will send your Holy Spirit to dwell in them, to teach them the right way to go because your word says you will teach us all things. I pray, oh God, that you will draw them closer to yourself even as they are coming back to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's pray for the offerings. Father, we thank you for the giving of your people. Thank you for everyone that has given an offering on PayPal, on Cash App, on Superchat. I pray that you receive their offerings in the mighty name of Jesus. May their bands never run dry in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who are planting seeds connected to the prophetic prayers for elevation, next level, I connect you to your seed that God will honor your giving and that whatsoever you are believing him for, he will honor your giving and you will see the manifestations in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. For those who have paid their tithes, God bless your tithes in the name of Jesus. I pray that God rebukes the devourer over your income and that he opens the windows of heaven and pour out the blessing that your bands will not be able to contain in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God bless you, family. Let's take our daily declarations together. The favor of the Lord is upon me. My hands and my feet are anointed for exploits. The favor of the Lord is upon me. My hands and my feet are anointed for exploits. The favor of the Lord is upon me. My hands and my feet are anointed for exploits. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are blessed of God. You are blessed beyond curse. I pray for you, your, 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 your day is blessed. Your going out is blessed. Your coming in is blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will find, you will find favor before kings and decision makers today. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you, you are preserved, you are protected. Your family is protected because of you. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Family, please check to see if you have already um, shared the live broadcast. If you have not shared the live broadcast, please kindly share. Be the reason why someone gets to pray along. Be the reason why someone gets to connect and pray. Whenever... I always call this online evangelism. Whenever you share the live broadcast, it's a form of online evangelism. You're giving others an opportunity to make contact with the grace of God. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please touch, touch the like button even as you go. Touch the like button even as you go. God bless you. I love you so much. I'm going to see you in our next live session as God gives me grace. Until then, have an amazing day. Have an amazing evening. God bless you.